What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Avery here, and out of the blue, Konami has actually updated the ban list. So let's just dive right in. Guys, be sure to hit that like button and favorite and subscribe. Hit that bell, all that fun stuff. The next update after this will be no sooner than October 1st. So uh, July, August, September, October. This is basically a four-month list, you guys. And honestly, I think that this list is pretty solid. This will remain... This current um the previous list excuse me will remain in effect until july 1st so this new balance will go into effect july 1st about 15 to 16 days before the remote dual ycs so right off the bat they ban guard dragon lp this really hurts dragon link uh because now they can't just go lp and pisty get out the brotar use the pisty get out another dragon and extend their plays this really hurts the community has been calling for lp to be banned for so long now for i want to say about four or five formats just because it's such a broken ass card and really it does kind of hinder uh card design in a way because you always have to keep cards like lp and pisty in mind lp being the strictly better version uh than pisty and then they also banned zodiac dryden once again they said put that shit back on the ban list fuck you dryden they hurt bird up very hard with this um zodiac tri brigade and zodiac elder lich um builds were starting to come up in the format near the end of this format currently and so to see dryden banned once again uh it no longer gives the tri brigade or even elder lich builds um that opportunity to interrupt you on your turn uh i really think that dryden just in a pure Zodiac deck, I think it's fine, but with the other cards that are out in the format right now, it just needs to be banned. This was a very good call by Konami. Uh, and that's it for the bans. Moving on to the limits. They listened to the community, ladies and gentlemen. They banned Misk. Uh, the people over at R&D Konami finally pulled out their, their, their common bulks. They looked at Misk and said, this card is broken and needs to go to one. <laughs> Misk should never have moved off of the limit list. It needs to stay at one. Having it at one gives you the opportunity to ditch it, protect your dinosaurs for that main phase, banish it from your grave, get out the baby Sarasaurus, and make plays. At one, it's fair. At three, it's like, you know, you might as well not even play hand traps against the deck. It's way too bonkers. They also brought back to one Performa Pal Skull Crobat Joker. I don't know if this is because they're trying to push the amazement archetype, because as far as I know, none of them are like Performa Pal Odd Eyes or anything like that. They're just amazement. So I don't even think Skull Crobat Joker can search them. But at the same token, it's also a bone to throw two Pendulum Magician decks that want to play Odd Eyes or Performa Pal cards, Performance cards, whatever. Um, you know, Joker is basically uh, the Stratos for Pendulum decks. So having it at one, really, I don't think is going to shake up the meta that much. We still have Monkey Board banned, so I really don't think we're going to have to worry about this card. And Electromite uh, is also banned. So having this back at one, I really don't think is going to uh, hurt the deck too much. Or um, bring it to like tier zero status, I should say. They also brought back to one Salamangrit, Mirage Stallio, and Striker Dragon. Uh, Mirage Stallio, I'll admit, I'm not a salad player. I know that there were some sort of loops that you could do with Mirage Stallio when it was at three, but having it at one, I mean, really, it could have been at one a couple of formats ago, I think. So giving this bone to salad players, and also now uh, with the new cyber stuff coming out and adding Nisters now topping events, I think that this is really going to push more people to go to salad or even just playing cyber decks in general. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not a salad expert, so maybe I'm just totally off of this. But I think having it at one is totally fine. Striker Dragon 1, again, this is another hit to the Dragon Link deck. Having Striker Dragon at 1 now means if you drop that out at the beginning of your combo and it gets impermed or ashed, yeah, that's going to hurt like a bitch. Especially if you don't have <clears throat> excuse me, that boot sector launch in your hand already. Um, you're going to have to probably change up your combos now to where if you still want to play Pisty, you're going to have to make that Striker Dragon um, in the opposite um, arrow of Romulus have the Pisty with the other Romulus arrow and being able to use Pisty's effect to get something from the grave. Um, but again, if you're doing that that late into that combo of plays, you may already be kind of lost anyway. I still think Dragon Link is a fairly good deck, but it's nowhere near as good as what it was before. Also at one, they brought back Engage. Let's go, boys and girls! <laughs> 
for those of you who don't know, I have fallen in love with Scry with Sky Striker um, after the deck got hit and Engage got banned. Thank you, Konami. I'm so glad now I have a reason to pick up a Sky Striker core. I've been really debating on whether or not to pull the trigger, and I just might now do it, even though I'm not playing in remote duels. Having Engage at one, I believe, uh, is very fair. You know, most Sky Striker builds play Rota, and then they can play one Engage. They're playing two Rotas now. Cool. If you want to abuse the engage, you're going to have to commit to the Gogari, which is at three, but you're also going to have to get those three spells in your grave first. Hornet drones and multi roller still at one, so I really don't think we're going to have to worry about a whole lot of, of abuse with engage. I think at the very most that we're going to see with engage abuse is going engage, draw a card, search, uh, Kagari, engage, search, draw a card. But again, you're already going to have to have those three spells in the grave. So if you can pull that off on turn one, by all means, go for it. But having engage at one, I think it's just awesome. Welcome back, engage. And then to two, we have double Iris Magician. Again, another uh, bone to throw to Pendulums, probably to also help support the new Amazement archetype. Uh, and then Symbols of Heritage is at three. No one was ever playing it. It was used in loops uh, many moons ago in Yu-Gi-Oh. So guys, let me know what you think of this list. Personally, I think it's actually a really solid list. Going into the Remote Duel YCS, I think that it's definitely going to shake up the meta. Uh, we, I don't really think we're going to see a whole lot of Pendulums being played. I think that people are going to stick with the Amazement deck uh, as their choice of Pendulums if they want to play that. I don't really see a whole lot of Pendulum Magicians being at this event. But I could be wrong. I think that people are still going to play Dragon Link. The people that are committed to Dragon Link, I think, are still going to play that deck. Even with Striker Dragon at 1, and even with LP at 1, I think that people are still going to try and find a way to abuse this deck. And Tri Brigade is still good. You know, you all you lost was a Dryden. That was it. So, you know, maybe cut out the Zodiac engine and just play pure Tri Brigade. I mean, I, I don't know. You still have things like uh, Borbo, which can swing directly to make the Zeus. I mean, you still have plays. You just can't make the Dryden to have that interrupt during the opponent's turn. So I think it's really going to be a toss-up of, are people going to be playing Eldritch Zodiac builds uh, in order to just focus on Zeus and then have the Eldritch with the trap cards in the back row and Scarlet Sanguine and everything else to have those interruptions during the opponent's turn? Or are people going to go down the Tri Brigade route uh, where they don't have Dryden, but they can still go Borbo, Swing Direct, make Zeus, and have that be their interrupt? It's going to be very interesting to see what the player base does. And uh, I think that this is overall really, really good. Um, I'm actually pretty optimistic about Skull Crobat Joker. I'm interested to see what people can do with one copy of basically what's a Stratos. Mirage Stalio, I don't think Salad is going to see a whole lot of play even with this at one, but I think that we are going to see uh, maybe some Rogue Tops. Uh, maybe even just straight Cyber decks will play this. I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't remember what Mirage Stalio does off the top of my head. I know it like bounces something. I think it's like a Nightmare Unicorn. And I think a lot of people are going to be picking up Sky Striker stuff now, now that Engage is at one. I mean, Engage is cheap at least at the time I'm be making this video. I think the ultis for the Sky Striker links are going to go to the moon, and I think that the uh, Starlight Rare of Rose is definitely going to go even higher. I think that we may, this is a bold prediction, but I think we may even see some small Sky Striker engines return two decks like what we saw with Orcus Sky Strikers where they would play a Sky Striker engine, then you had the main Orcus deck itself. Um, so I'm very curious to see what it is that people will do with this. And we may even on the next list see Double Iris go to three if it's not really abused. So guys, let me know what you think of this list. Um, I'm really surprised that this came out of the blue. I wasn't even, you know, expecting it for maybe another week or so. So guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.